Okay, hello everybody. Uh, Seagull again. So, unfortunately, the second part I recorded, um, my microphone, so, as you can see, uh, my mic, there's like a little thing in the back here, and as you can see, if I turn it to the front, there's a red light on, so if this part comes out, even though, like, a, like a little tiny bit, it won't pick up any sound, but the red light will still be on. So that's what happened. So I recorded the entire second part, and then I went to go watch it back, and it was like, yeah, there's no, your mic wasn't being picked up, nigga. Sorry. So now I, I had to like speed run everything I played in the first part, and we're gonna just go back through what I went through in the second recording, and it obviously won't take me as long as it did before, unfortunately. But, and you won't get my authentic reaction to things. Well, not my authentic reaction, but you won't get my uh, reaction what it was in the week, uh, first part. Or, first recording of this second episode. But, uh, you know, that just be how it is sometimes. I always experience some type of difficulty whenever I try to record something. Um, that's just how it be, unfortunately. But, you know, you do what you gotta do. This is why people, well, I mean, even if I was recording on another, like, source, my mic, it was my mic, not, like, the recording. It's not, like, it wasn't OBS or Streamlabs. Okay, but anyway, last time we, uh, got a key, um, for the best, my uh, best sellers. So we're gonna go use that. And just hope nothing bad happens this time. Wait, the donut took me like two minutes to get back to this point. But even still. Alright, so the padlock is off. Uh, we have to pick up these books. Shakespeare Anthology 1 through 5. Sorry if I'm about to just like speed run this. Um... Not really. I don't, I don't remember the order it was. This is the only place where there's any room left. Should I just line up the books I picked up off the floor? Yes, we will be doing that. I do have the code written down, but I'm just going to do the puzzle again. Just because. No, I have this wrong. I literally did this like 10 to 15 minutes ago, so I don't know why I'm blanking on it all of a sudden. Uh, hold on, sorry. Unless the code changed somehow when I start, I, the code changed. The code changed. So what I had before is different. Okay. So three, four. Because this game has like a riddle difficulty and it changes every playthrough, I guess. Wait, no. Fuck. Okay, so four five one two. It was three four zero six before, but now it's four five one two. Alright. Well, I mean guess we technically still did the puzzle in a way, so can't be mad about that. Um, also, I missed the handgun ammo, um, when you get the gun, but I got it this time. I don't know how I missed it, but I did. Alright, so... Four, five, one... It is unlocked. Okay, great. Um, hey, wait! What's going on? Where is everybody? Those weird monsters? 
have come to witness the beginning. The rebirth of paradise, despoiled by mankind. What are you talking about? Don't you know? Your power is needed. How should I know? I am Claudia. So what? Remember that line always makes me laugh. <laughs> and your true self as well. I am also the villain. That which you must become. Uh, okay. And? <laughs> the one who will lead us to paradise with blood-stained hands. Claudio, right? Did you do all this? It was the hand of God. <laughs> For some reason, that soys that that soys that noise was a, so much more disorienting the first time. Not so much this time, because I knew it was coming, but that shit fucked me up the first time. I don't get it. What does she want me to remember? All right, so I'm pretty sure there's nothing in this area. We just have to go to the elevator. And there are no buttons for the elevator, so it just kind of moves on its own. So, uh, a radio. A radio. What the hell is this? Doing, uh, let me read that one more time. Sorry. A radio. What the hell is this doing falling down from the ceiling? Anyway, I guess that explains the static from just before. But all it's picking up is static. I wonder if it's broken. I got a radio. So, for those who don't know, uh, the radio is a staple in the Silent Hill series. Um, it's an item that whenever you, uh, have it, it'll emit static whenever monsters are nearby. Um, and if you want, you can turn it off, uh, if you don't want to have that, but I'm going to keep it on, just because. And then we get into the elevator, to another elevator. For the second time, I knew it was coming, and it still kind of got me. Like, I was waiting for it, and it still got me. I must say that for someone who's lived a normal life, I'm assuming she just like is really good with not freaking the fuck out. Like, oh, rusty elevator, monsters. Maybe it's like a coping mechanism. It's like, well, if I freak out, then I'm fucked. So I just have to not freak out. You know, you gotta fake it until you make it, I guess. All right, so dogs are plenty. Doors locked. Fuck those doors. They don't matter. This door ain't locked though. Give me my health drinks again. Give me my fucking ampoule. Okay, so the ampoule. Uh, this is the stuff. It'll wipe out all the pain and help recover my strength. So ampoules are basically, I'm pretty sure there's better health drinks. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else in here. There are books and magazines here, but I have no time to read them. I'm just going to save. Oh, I didn't read that. That's my bad. Um, she was talking about how she remembers it. Um, and then she's like, no, it's not from the book. It's from the altar. Altar. What am I thinking? Um, so I'm going to save there. And I'm not going to save over this, this time from the future. I'm just not going to save over the last save I reached in a recording. Just in case I have to re-record the part. Um, so yeah. Uh, as you can see, the time difference. I had 26 minutes in. So this time, I only have 7 minutes in because I just fucking speed ran it here.
I'm sure there's another room you can go in, in here. Maybe not. Just gonna, you know, bypass the one eating the thing in the body bag. You are not important to me right now. So, uh, this is our destination. We have to uh, get this ladder down from here. Um, we need a coat hanger. Apologize that I'm just like, you know, lightning fast in the information. Lightning fast. You know, just shooting up the information at a lightning fast speed. Like I said, I just, I'm re recording the part, so. Warning, when leaving the room, be sure to turn out the lights. It will be obvious if they are not if they are not switched off. Gotta grab the first aid kit, handgun bullets. First aid kit. This will help me patch up my wounds fairly well, I think. Um I don't really know what the difference between all these three are, honestly. Like I don't know. One is clearly better than the other. Okay, so uh, you can you can just pick up the flashlight, but this is telling you to turn it off so you can see it uh, shining. Um, yeah, now we have the flashlight triangle or whatever your top face button or whatever you configure it to. Um, as flashlight, and we'll examine it. Um, I believe um, if you have it on, enemies will see you more uh, easily. I believe it says it. But monsters will notice me more usually when it's on. It's in my chest pocket. I must have in darkness. I went through this area before without it, so I don't really need it right now. But um, we have to come through here uh, and go into the clothing store where we first killed the first monster. And then we get the bulletproof vest. And then the uh, fucking hanger. Um, so the bulletproof vest. It's heavy under a jacket, but it should protect against the monster's attacks. Um, it says it's heavy, so I'm assuming you move slower when using it. But um, I can't really tell the difference. And then a hanger. A wire coat hanger I got at the boutique. Alright, so let's go back. Oh. I'm also missing the bleach. Was that in here too? Oh, God. 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 God, that didn't happen last time. That didn't fucking happen last time. Oh, the, oh. oh that noise didn't fucking happen last time. Alright, that's fair. You got me, game. You fucking got me. I'll give you that one. Oh. Ah. Uh. There it is. There's the bridge. Um, bleach. This sort of stuff you'd use to clean a toilet. I think I have the same kind at home. Where did all the enemies go? There. God, that fucking door noise really fucked me up. Like, if, if I didn't mention it in the last part, I am a total bitch when it comes to horror stuff. But like, I feel like Silent Hill is just the right amount of not like, um, it, it, it's it's enough that I can I can deal with it. Oh. I don't know why I do this to myself. I really don't. Like, like I'll probably never not be scared of things like in this realm. But like, I love this game, so I want to like push through it. If that makes sense. Like, there is never a point in time where I will not be scared of. Shit. 
And there's some enemies in this room. Uh, I don't care about you. Go, go get the bullets in the health drink. Don't touch me. Fucking, ugh. Okay. Um. Don't touch me. There's the walnut. Got a walnut. Uh, this is a good size walnut from the jeweler's showcase. Something's rattling around inside, but I can't open it with my bare hands. I'm pretty sure we need a nutcracker or something for that. Why would something like this be here? This isn't a hospital. And this is the save point. This again. Looking at it makes my head hurt, but at the same time, it's like so familiar. I know I forgot something really important, but I also have the feeling that I'd be better off not remembering it. All right. Um, so I just replayed everything that I did. Let me see what, what we're at for time-wise here. Okay, we're about like almost 17 minutes. I think I can call that one there. Um, yeah, sorry if that's a less interesting than what it was supposed to be. Um, but you got a scare out of me. You got a legitimate scare out of me, the one that wasn't there in the first recording. So, you know? Yeah. Uh, we will we'll continue more into the mall um, in the next part. Uh, but for right there, we're going to call that one there. I hope you like the you know, little feather up there. Of that. I think it looks cool. Um... Yeah, uh, I apologize if I bitch out at any point and stop recording this. I'm just, I'm so afraid of things, man. Um, but yeah, if you like it, let me know. Um, try to record some more parts. Uh, get this up as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, I'm running out of things to say. Uh, more and more in the future. Um, hope you all have a nice day. Hope I don't have to record this again. Peace, y'all.